Today we talk about keeping them paints moist. What up, mini family? Wet palettes. Everyone knows about them, but no one knows how to spell the word palette. There's a lot of information on the web about wet palettes and how they relate to miniatures, such as how to use them, what they can do for you, and also how to make them on the cheap. So we'll be avoiding the basic information regarding wet palettes and focus more on what I learned about them over the last couple years. First, a brief introduction. A wet palette is simply a moist sponge with a porous material on top of it. The intent is that the moisture from the sponge will enter the pores of the material on top of it and hydrate the paint, thereby increasing the life of the paint on your palette and also keeping it at the right paint consistency for the most part. That is the big benefit to wet palettes, as opposed to things like floor tiles, backs of CDs, and palette papers, etc., is that the paint never really dries out as long as you keep your sponge moist. You can build your own wet palette and there is a guide from Tabletop Minions in the description of this video that you can check out. But for the duration of this video, we're gonna be looking at the Masterson's Stay Wet Handy Palette, which can be found in most art supply depots like Blick here in the United States and it's relatively cheap. So without further ado, here are the things that I learned about this tool in particular, which will help you when you use it, cause you should, because it'll keep your paints moist. Number one, it comes with its own palette paper, and this palette paper is designed for heavy bodied acrylics, which is not what we're using necessarily. So I recommend that you use a different kind of paper, which is parchment paper, which you can find in most grocery stores for really cheap. Number two, when you cut squares out of the parchment paper, make sure that it's not the exact size of the sponge. You want to kind of downsize it about an inch around, and we will get into why you want to do that in a little bit. When you moisten your sponge and place the palette paper on top of it, it is immediately going to curl. That's because one side is hydrated and the other isn't. Think of how a leaf curls in autumn. Just wet the other side in the sink and take a straight edge and flatten out the parchment on the sponge in an attempt to eliminate all of the wrinkles and the bubbles because those things are the devil. Now we get to why you want to undersize your palette paper. When you're scraping out all the wrinkles and bubbles, you kind of stretch the palette paper out. And if you were to have a piece of paper that was the exact size of the sponge, stretching it out would make it larger than the sponge and you'd have a little bit of paper creeping up on the side and that's not what you want. These little abnormalities cause the paper to wrinkle up faster and we want to avoid that as much as possible. That brings us to the next thing I learned. Number four, is that palette paper kind of wrinkles up on you even if you do scrape out all the bubbles and make sure the paper is cut to the right size because water evaporates, guys. Who would have thought that was the case? It took me long enough to figure this out. So while you're using your wet palette, every now and then take some water and re-moisten the sponge to make sure that it's not dry. Which brings us to the last thing, number five. You want to make sure that your sponge is moistened the correct amount. A lot of people like to use an absolute ton of water. I like to get it to the point where the sponge is a little bit overfilled and you can see the water kind of sloshing back and forth in the palette. Remember, the more water you have, the more moist your paints will be. And that's it. You're all wet palette pros now and you're ready to take on the Masterson's Stay Wet Handy Palette for all your miniature needs. For now though, let's check out someone from the community's model. This week we have a Dark Angels Dreadnought from the Reddit user Up the Affiliates. I love the metallic bronze base rim. A nice unique touch that I've never seen on a model. Thanks for the submission, up the affiliates. If you want to see pictures of one of your managers at the end of my videos, check out the description below. Thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting, but more importantly, go paint some minis. Aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. Aperture is what we'll go over first. Aperture is like a gate. It's what determines how much light hits and the homunculi in his coven, he creates a plot to steal a sun from a neighboring imperial galaxy to harvest its near infinite just that's kind of like, man, yeah, and then I. Is dying the kind of binding, the pale of it, it'll bump on the ball out. 